everybody, welcome back to Dynago Blue 43. Today we are going to be taking a look at another diecast for a review. This one we have the 2014 edition of RS Team Lightning McQueen with metallic paint. Obviously, this McQueen paint did not appear in any of the cars and movies, but he did appear in quite a few of the shorts because we would assume that this paint job McQueen had like after the event of Cars 2. It's basically like the World Grand Prix McQueen paint job, except it has Raider Springs decals and it doesn't really accompany with All in All and World Grand Prix anymore. I mean, you still have the lightning bolt turning into a flame, but on the other hand, you still have Radiator Springs logos throughout him now. Unfortunately, we never got a regular version of this McQueen release. He's only been released metallic, which I don't really understand that. I really wish we got a normal version. We could possibly still get one someday, but I honestly doubt it, but it's still a possibility. But I just really wish that there was a regular version of this McQueen released. I just don't, it doesn't really make sense how they released the metallic version before a regular version. But still very nice though to have in your collection. I would definitely recommend this car. And I actually got him from eBay for $15. He's not really that rare too. So it shouldn't really be that much of a challenge to get him. Obviously you can't find him in stores anymore. But online he's really not that rare. We're going to compare him to some other metallic cars throughout the video and even the World Grand Prix McQueen paint job because like I said, those are probably like the most similar in paint schemes. But here we go. RST Light and McQueen on the name tag right there. It's not really a name tag, but it's like supposed to look like a name tag. Special edition display case only at Target, so it was a Target exclusive. I think he ranged for like $5 and we have all these car logos around. If we count them all together, there's one, two three four and finally number five and i guess you can kind of count this one too which makes for six total cars logos on this packaging uh, that's absolutely insane now, as you guys see we also have the rs team light mcqueen ink kind of like written on this nice display case whoever got this wherever i bought this from, from ebay i probably found that in a store for clearance for four dollars and twenty cents and I really do like the background that they chose. You can see the desert in Radio Springs. From what I'm seeing, it kind of looks to be near Willie's Butte. And I do really like that because they normally don't really use that from McQueen. They normally use Piston Cup backgrounds. But without further ado, I'll be right back to you guys when we have RS Team Light McQueen completely out of the package. ka -chow. Okay, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there is a thunderstorm near me, so thank you very much. I'm trying to record a video, but thank you very much. I'll put music in the background anyway to kind of drown you out. But nonetheless, here you have the RS Team Lightning McQueen out of the package. He's looking great. I honestly think I will keep him, though, in the display case. I just think he'd look very nice in there. That's just my personal opinion. So let's get right into the review, shall we? Obviously, he has the same expression as the World Graham. Pre McQueen, they did not bother changing the expression. Same happy smile, blue eyes, flat eyelids. Obviously, he has metallic paint, which means the red's a lot more darker and it definitely is shinier and a lot more like reflects, like the light does reflect off of the paint. I really do like that. I really do like this nice shiny finish to him. We have the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo on the hood right there with the Piston Cup and Doc Hudson on top of it. I really do like that. And we have a faded like flames going on each side right right there. I was going to say lightning bolt, but I caught myself there. There's like faded flames, same exact thing on the World Grand Prix McQueen right there. Very nice. We have obviously the little bolt holding his hood down, the lightning bolt, which kind of stand out from this metallic paint. I do like that a lot. We have his headlights right here, and now these are actual working headlights. They're not the paper sticker headlights. The track apparently isn't lit anymore. Right here we have the Lightyear text on the tires because obviously McQueen's tires and brand is Lightyear tires. We have a nice red trim on the rims as well. I like how they added the detail. We have a gas cap in the back right here. We have a bright yellow lightning bolt. It's very thin compared to the bulky one on the Cars one version. It's a lot more smaller and it obviously fades into a flame. And as you move on, it kind of fades into color too because it goes to like a very dark orange. We have a little tiny flame on each side of the spoiler I do like that and obviously we have radiator springs on the spoiler instead of World Grand Prix in the middle of the radiator cap mountain and 1930 which I would assume was the year that radiator springs 
got founded, or I don't know when Radio Springs got founded, but it might be that year. My other guess is probably when Stanley or Lizzie got married or something like that. 95 on the hood right there. Lady McQueen's signature on each side of the roof edges, like normal. And here are his contingency sponsors. And now, I really do like how most of them are actually Radio Springs buildings, with the exception of one. But as we go through them, obviously, we have the Piston Cup, Sally's Cozy Co Motel, Mater's, Flo's VA Cafe, Rusty's, which obviously is not, and Dynaco also is not a Radio Springs building, Luigi's. You need some tires? You need some tires? If you guys wanna know, that's just a nod to Aaron's real car, so Aaron, if you're watching this, <laughs> anyway, as you guys see also on the bottom, you can see two other shops, Ramones has a body art and started a surplus sell. It looks like right there is Lizzie's Curio Shop, so very nice. Obviously, here are the window bars right there, matches the same color as the rest of the body. Here's the base, I know none of you guys are probably interested interested in the base but there it is anyway so yeah, that's pretty much it for the overview of the rs team Lightning mcqueen now let's compare him to some other mcqueens starting off with the world grand prix mcqueens like i said he is most similar to this one but obviously there is differences obviously he's not powered by all no anymore has no world grand prix logos the little stamp logo right here says world grand prix with 95 with the american flag in the background background is now then change to these contingency sponsors and there is the spoilers as well obviously world grand prix mcqueen says world grand prix rsc mcqueen says radiator springs and obviously you can tell a drastic difference with the metallic paint i always like when they release a metallic mcqueen because the red really stands out it just looks amazing, doesn't it? And like I said, this guy isn't rare at all, so you have a definitely high possibility of getting this guy in your collection if you want to. I always find cheap prices for him on eBay. He's not rare at all, which I honestly kind of find surprising. And here's also Metallic World Grand Prix Lady McQueen, and the most recent Metallic McQueen, the Car Street McQueen for the 2018 Scavenger Hunt line. So all of these McQueens use the same exact red paint, I think this one might actually be a little different, but overall, they're like the same exact red metallic paint. They all look absolutely amazing, and as you guys can see, you can definitely tell how the metallic red stands out from the standard normal red that we're used to seeing on our good old boy, Lightning McQueen. Honestly, like I said, you didn't appear in any of the three cars movies, so I don't have any clip to show for you guys in this video. But to make it up, you guys, I will show a picture on the screen right now from a couple of shots of the RST McQueen from different shorts that were released in between cars 2 and 3. For example, like spinning, that the RST McQueen paint job did appear, and I gotta say, I do like it. Hopefully one day we will get a regular release, but we can only hope. But anyway, that's going to be it for the video. Hope everyone who did watch enjoy. Let me know which McQueen metallic car from the ones here is your favorite. Let's just take this guy out until you guys, unless you guys can, can get confused. But here we have metallic RST McQueen, metallic World Grand Prix McQueen, and metallic Cars 3 Lightning McQueen. But anyway, that's going to be it. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram at DynacoBlue43 underscore official because I do post a bunch of cars content in there. I hope you guys do enjoy maybe some of my recent scores, hunts, or finds or anything. Or maybe even some new cars that got revealed in any cars updates. But anyway, that's going to be it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out. See you later. Ka-chow!